YouTube, Kunz Tattoo. This is going to be another video in the 100 things about me. And in this one I'm covering YouTubers that I'm watching at the moment and YouTubers that I've watched throughout the years. So we'll start with 10 that I'm watching at the moment. I'll put a screenshot of my channel as it stands now. And you'll see that I have 10 featured YouTubers who are mostly Irish and have different styles of channels. It's kind of a mix between general vlogs and special interest vlogs and then fitness YouTubers and a couple of people that do other activities that I like. So that's who I'm really watching at the moment and that's why I featured them on my channel. So when I started watching YouTube, I started watching a lot of people that interested me at the time and that was mostly around coming out stories and other LGBT interest vlogs. But there were also a couple of people like Jack Scapp or The Lean Machines or Jim Chapman and Sub Daily 06. And those were all just kind of people that I enjoyed watching. They had nice channels, they make good content, and I was interested and liked what they were making. At the time I was big into parkour and I discovered a lot of other parkour channels and then there were Irish parkour videos and English parkour videos and I got really interested in those, so people like Timothy Sheaf, Daniel Baca was quite big back then as well, so those were quite interesting videos for me to watch as well and then I kind of progressed into more just general vlogging again. So I discovered Marky e. Miller and Marcus Butler and a couple of other people like him, like them. Uh, I mentioned Subdaily06. Um, then there were people like the Global Gaze who led into different other channels as well because they were collaborations. And I don't know, it's difficult to explain the different channels that I'm watching. There are so many of them, but there are also kind of the people that I constantly go back to. So. I'm constant. I went back to Sawyer Hartman's videos that he did with Tyler Oakley because they're hilarious. Then I went back to Charlie is so cool like and people like him. And it's just I like to go back every now and then and just watch the stuff that I liked years ago and that I haven't seen for a while. When I start watching a new YouTuber, which I've done a lot of now recently because I tend to go into people's comment sections and kind of go, oh, there's a, there's somebody who's doing something similar, you know and then I'll check out their videos. So I tend to go back to the start of their channel, watch their first couple of videos, and then go back up to date. But I always like to leave a comment on their first video if I really like it, and then it's just kind of, okay, I'll start there and move on. As I said in other videos, I think that's what YouTube is for me at the moment. It's a way of making contact with new people and seeing what they're all about and just getting to know other YouTubers, in particular a lot of Irish YouTubers, which Crackcom was brilliant for. So that's basically it. I'll leave links to the 10 featured YouTubers that I have on my page, and if you like my videos and you make content yourself, then leave a comment and I'll check out your videos, and hopefully we can get something going back and forth. Gurv Mila Mahogat YouTube, Songfall.